Viewer discretion advised. Okay, so at this point of the night, we have had unbelievable experiences thus far. Things that have never happened before. And two people, myself and Tyler, were really affected by the crematorium. So we get the idea that since it messed with us the most, and I mean headaches, nausea, things that I never experienced, we decided we had the harebrained idea to go in just ourselves. So it was that time and we were headed to the crematorium. Do you have a light? Oh, uh, yeah. Boy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm already rolling. I'm I'm down to do all of it. Bro, yeah, let's try it out. Yep. Okay. We are back in the crematorium here. Oh, I just kicked the shit out of the truck. Um, <laughs> Moss Creek. Interesting. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um. This is Shaggy and Tyler. We are in the crematorium and we don't like it over here. No. So <clears throat> I gotta be honest though, uh, this right now has been the, the right currently, the least uh, aggressive this room has been to me. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel as bad right now. I don't know why, but all three, the previous three times I've come in here, it, my, I have a headache. The last time I was a little nauseous. I still feel like a little, it's weird, like a little pressure in my head. It's heavy. It's heavy. That's, yeah. that's a great it's way to heavy. describe it. It is heavy. heavy. We just had, um, when we were in here earlier, we had a really interesting BVP session where something asked, uh, responded, had a bunch of intelligence responses telling us to come closer, um, telling us how it died. Um, saying it was burned, um, told us to close it. We don't know cable. what it. Cable. Cable. Hmm. Um, but yeah, so whatever is in here is pretty intelligent. Um, so we're gonna see if we can't communicate more with it. All right. Well, this box in my hand, you can use it to communicate with us. Um, if you want to come over here to it. See if you can manipulate the words to tell us why we do not like this room. How about that? What was that? You heard that, right? Yeah. That, that, was, that was the door. It was like a tap on the door or like the door moved. Did you do that? Got a little heavier in here. <laughs> this um, this other device in my hand, the red light on it, I'll set it right here. If you go up to it, it'll let us know that you're here with us. We would appreciate that. We're trying to find out this, your story and what's going on in here. I don't know. If you are stuck here, if you are choosing not to pass on, um, either either way, there's obviously a reason, but we want to know what happened to you, and maybe get a little bit more information of why you are still here. My name is Tyler. I was in here earlier. Uh, you were telling me um, to come closer. You were telling me. Um, about 
burned. You were, you were telling me all these things. Uh, this is my friend Shaggy over here. Uh, so we're just going to talk to you, okay? Just introduce ourselves. So why don't you tell us what your name is? We're at the Old Nazareth Hospital. It's Shaggy and Tyler. We are in the crematorium. I want to find out uh, why we don't like this room. I don't normally have this problem. Places don't affect me like this. So I want to know, is there somebody here with us? Come to this red light and tell me who you are, please. Is there somebody here with us? Come to this red light. Holy fuck, God, they got me. Shit. Jesus fucking Christ. Tell me. Oh, you died. Bastards. They got me. No, they wouldn't. Have. No, I'm about to listen to this here. Because I told you. God damn it. I don't know how to fix the one. I'm trying this bitch off. That was good. Fuck. That was fucking good. Dude, it was like, because I'm like this. Yeah. So it was like, it whispered yeah. in my ear. Holy shit, dude. I literally thought someone was saying it right here. But like somebody other than you and me. <laughs> oh fuck, god damn it. Is there somebody here with us? Come to this red light and tell me who you are, please. Are you upset that we're here and that's why you're being aggressive? Are you trying to touch that red light? Did, did it go off? Bro, no. The table. I heard something hit the table. Really? Like shining a light on the table? I heard this. Oh, wow. I guess I heard the knock on the table. I can hear this with that digital recorder in my ear. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish that up. It seems like there might be something over my head. There's probably another piece. I thought I heard something, but that, that would have been it. On that well, one. just the third chest. Yeah, dude. The chest part is fun, honey, because there's that pressure on, your, on my chest. I get that only in this There is, area. so with mine, I have right now a slight kind of pain right here in my chest. Mm -hmm. Like it's like a like a dull like a dull pressure. And I'll feel it in my sides too, like a pain mm -hmm. kind of in my guts and my side. Only in this room for some damn reason. Can you say something else to us? What about our chest? What third what? Is there is there some way you can communicate with us and let us know that you're here with us? Are you saying there's a third person in here? What did it say? It said third chest, but I mean... Third chest, but I mean... Oh, that was a nice little tap back right there. Yeah. That's where we've been hearing shit all night. One chest, two chest, three chest. Mm. Is there somebody in here with us? Come over here and say hi. Worst feeling right now. Yeah, I'm kind of getting the creeps. Bro, I worst feeling. You have our attention, say something. I got my finger on the flashlight button. <laughs> Who's here with us? I want you to come out and make your presence known to us now. Stop hiding all this bullshit happening crap. Come out here. 
go over that red light and make that light up for us so we know you're here. Stop hiding. Form. Form what? Are you trying to form? How can we help you? You trying to do something? The device in my left hand has a red blinking light on it. Come talk into it, okay? So pick it up. I heard you last time, I'll hear you again. Well, why did it open? Some, either someone's fucking with us, or that door is open. I'm gonna go with someone's fucking with us. Sway back and forth. Now I guess. Well, there's no, there's no airflow in here. Whoa. Whoa. It says Bill Cake Salt. Bill. Is that your name? Bill. Do we have a name for you? If that's a name, can you, can you give us an answer? Can you say something on the obvious again, or make a noise? Knock on something. If you did that door, can you do it again so that we know it was you either trying to leave or trying to come in? Yeah, I don't get the door, dude. That's kind of weird. Because that's exactly how it was. There was no light. Yeah, just and it's chilling a little bit at the it's chilling now. Yeah. And to look over and see that it was gapped by about two inches. Yeah, like, like something happened. I really thought my brother was over there fucking around. Now is your chance to tell your story. We're listening. What was that? I'm getting that really weird queasy feeling again. Is this the only way you can communicate to us? Is by affecting us physically? We've given you other options. There's tools. Oh, fuck that, dude. Okay. Hilarious. Bro, there's not wind. Because you would feel that, bro. Dude. dude, you would feel that. That door just opened by itself. Okay. <laughs> is, your camera, is your camera on yeah, the door? It's facing. 
It just said no. It said what? It said linger no. So, did you just make yourself no? Here's the thing. I, I feel a little breeze, but not. If it was going to open that much, we would have felt a breeze. That's what I'm telling you. That was good, Bill. Did you do that? I, I asked them to do that, which is <laughs> no pretty, I guess. I mean, the door doesn't latch, but, and, dude, I don't know, man. I specifically and dude, asked. Me and me and Josh and my dad were in here, and that door never opened once. If the wind's not blowing hard outside, no. there's a motion sensor light yeah. out there. Did that light? Okay, so if the door oh, no, it was, was on. on. It was on. But wouldn't that mean Okay, hold up. <laughs> Some little kid would say. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, if you are the one that's opening that door, can you do it again for us right now so that we know it's you? All I can say is, is I really thought it was them fucking around with us. Um, I had a good feeling that BDM and Dawson had made their way <laughs> down there after uh, they scared us with the walkie-talkie pretty good. I figured that we didn't respond to that. Uh, so they decided to come down and get a little more up close and personal with their fuckery. But uh, I discovered real quick that uh, that was not them. In fact, there was nobody out there. You know, I have to leave a window of opportunity open for it to have been the wind. But again, Tyler and the people he was with had been in there several times. No one else ever reported having issues with the door. And there was no wind. 
there was no airflow. We weren't feeling any. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> I know that it, at first it opened quite a bit, you know, a pretty good gap there. And then when asked to do it again, it opened just a crack. So I don't know. The first time it opened and then it closed back, but it never closed back again. So I don't know. I'm going to have to put this in the if possibly maybe category. But when you add in all the other shit that was happened to us while we were in there, our personal experiences, the feelings, the sickness, and it, it affected Tyler more that time around. Um, but we heard noises, weird feelings, you know, stuff was happening. I don't know, but it was weird. I feel like, I feel like we're almost being surrounded. Ow! It's the way it goes. Yeah. Yeah, it's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. Yeah. Yep, it's my vote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck this. That's weird. Alright, go. Alright. So this right here definitely shocked me. It's crazy because I almost missed it when I was going through the footage the first couple of times. And when I finally did see it, I immediately started debunking it. Obviously it was, you know, we were casting that shadow. But then when I started to pay attention to the movement of whatever this is, in comparison to our movements, I saw real quick that we weren't casting this shadow, whatever it was. And when you compare it to the shadow I did cast, um, my shadow is more transparent. The shadow of my camera rig setup is a little more transparent. Whatever this was, was darker than dark. And it seems to be coming out towards us. And as we bring the flashlight back and move it away, this thing doesn't move back. Meaning we didn't cast it with the flashlight and it actually stays as the flashlight is leaving and then it just fades away. It never retracts back to wherever it came from. It just kind of fades away. And this kind of explains to me anyway, that dark oppressive feeling that both me and Tyler continue to experience every time we went in this area. This was a great catch and I'm so glad I didn't miss it. Wherever we were talking to you, thank you. Yeah, for your time. thanks. So you got your message. Uh, we're going. Uh, we are out. Yeah. Form. Form what? Are you trying to form? Trying to form.